Hello and welcome to One Good Thing interview series. My name is Furkan Karel and I'll be hosting inspirational leaders from different parts of the world to share their authentic stories and wisdom to sprinkle one good thing to our lives. Enjoy! Hello everyone, my name is Furkan Karel and I'm joined by a very special person today, Jean Evans. Welcome, Jean. Thank you, Furkan. Lovely to see you. Thank you, likewise. And we are going to be talking about networking, the opportunities networking, you know, opens for people. So let's get, let's get started with you and your story, Jean. How did you, who is um, Jean Evans, first of all, and how did you end up doing uh, networking and how did you end up doing what you do? And if you can add one uh, one good news, one good uh, thing happened to you this week that will be also super to, to get to know you a little bit more. Lovely. Thank you. And thank you very much for the opportunity of talking to you today. I'm delighted to be here. Um, so my name is Jean Evans and I suppose the, the, the Whistle Stop Tour is I worked in corporate and tourism for 22 years. I worked with Board Volta out in the markets based out in Milan and then I was over in New York. I had come back to Ireland, ran the Convention Bureau in Dublin and then I was a professional conference organiser for 10 years out of Dunleary and the east coast of Ireland. Um, I then got made redundant coming off the back of maternity leave with my third child. So for anybody who's just come out of maternity leave, had a child, being made redundant at the same time is not necessarily the best thing that ever happened. Um, in that moment in time, I would say, because I was feeding my child, I had two other toddlers running around, so it was a bit of a hectic moment in my life. You know, you're going through an identity crisis, what now? I was a corporate for life. I didn't see anything. I didn't know anything different. Um, but now what I would say is I'm so glad it happened to me. It's one of the best things that ever happened to me, but I didn't know it at the time. So I started working with, and what I would say is I always networked within, I was a career networker without realizing I was doing it. And it literally came from an interest in understanding and meeting other people. I worked for an international company. I was constantly traveling, meeting people from all different cultures all across the world. And I loved it, loved getting to know other people because it's fascinating. And it is something that I have brought forward. So when I started working with my partner for two and a half years, I stepped out of the tourism industry and I went, oh my Lord, I know nobody. I don't know anybody outside my bubble of what I do. And it was a big moment for me. It was sort of an epiphany. And I thought, right, I need to go and start networking, which I did. And at the height of it, between 2018 and 2019, I was probably a part of about nine different groups and people were looking at me going it's about 10 heads but I loved it and at the start I thought I was going to network I was going to see which ones were getting me business then I was going to call the networks and just focus on one or two but I got into it and I got to meet more people and more people and more people and I just loved getting to know people and their businesses and what I discovered was I'm a natural connector. I love connecting people because the wider my network grew, the more I got to know people and I was able to connect people with people that they would never have met without me put, saying, you need to talk to you because of X, Y, Z. Go have a conversation and see what door is going to open for you. But when I was back in corporate and before I got made redundant, I managed a big team. I had a big turnover within the department. And people would have said, you know, I would get up in front of an audience and do presentations, not a problem. And people thought, oh, you're so confident. But what I realized when it was just me, myself and I going out to network and connect with people, it was about me. And what I realized about networking is, I think there's a few messages, you know, in terms of core things that people need to understand is networking and learning to network. One, it's a skill and it can be learned and it's a process and a discipline and that can be learned and everybody can do it. The other thing is, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. And I have done so many courses recently and business courses and different things. And one thing they all miss out on is teaching people how to network. So I'm also on a mission to change that because I think when people start businesses or do things, you know, they're going to outsource legal or HR or social media or whatever, website build, unless that's their business, of course. 
But the one thing they can't outsource is learning how to build relationships with other human beings. That's something that we need to own. And part of what you're going through, certainly leaving corporate and going out on my own, I then had to understand what are my values? What do I stand for? What is a good representation of me? What does my voice sound like? I don't mean my actual voice, but what does my voice sound like? And I have to get used to speaking when it's about me. And what I realized was networking is extremely, um, it makes you very vulnerable in a good way because you really have to know yourself and you have to look at your confidence. And why I say this and why it's so important is that I went from, I'm naturally shy, I'm innately shy, but I, as a child, I was pathologically shy. And people sort of say, there's no way you could be pathologically shy. And you could, they see me, and now I facilitate meetings and I chair meetings and I set up networking groups and I'm going, being able to do that or having the confidence to be able to do that has nothing to do with my shyness. Shyness is a social anxiety, but I'm also an introvert. And the amount of introverts who tell me I can't network, I'm going, Yes, you can, because you can be an outgoing introvert or you can be a shy introvert. We're all different categories. But the more you understand about yourself, the more you understand about how you can interact with other people. And it's empowering and sort of liberating when you understand what's going on in here and what's going on in your tummy when different things are happening. So for me, I have one core message to say to introverts, actually learn to embrace and love being an introvert, because when you understand what it means, it's empowering and you'll want to put on a visual cape behind you and it is your superpower and it's your superhero moment if you know how to understand it and channel it for good because you're an amazing networker if you're an introvert you'll be great listening skills you have great skills of observation and all of these things bring you and lead you to develop really strong relationships with people because you like to go further than the superficial and I think that's that's really empowering so for me, where I'm at now, um, I got I got furloughed um, from my my partner's business. Ironically, when when COVID hit last year, and that led to another identity crisis because I was going, oh no, here we go again. Don't know what I'm going to do. And when I stood back and I was watching people networking, obviously I'd done a lot of face to face and then moved it online. I'd watched a lot of people struggling, really, really struggling. Not only moving and transitioning online but also working on how to get their value proposition across to understand how to connect with businesses how to build up relationships so I started writing a blog so I have a blog networkinggene.ie and I post different blogs on different networks that people can visit tips and tricks and different things that they consider and every week I post one or two depending on how much writing I can get done and it's just to help people learn the skill um, where I'm going to be developing it is developing courses on networking so that people can literally go in, learn the skills and then improve. Because if you can master this and know the fundamentals of it from the start, wherever you start in your business journey, if you understand the fundamentals of this, it is a game changer. So if you want it for your career, if you're an introvert and you want to grow your confidence, if you want to move on professionally, if you want to change from a nine to five and you want to go into entrepreneurship and become a startup, if you're a business owner that's never had to network, but now you do need to do it, why not do something that <clears throat> lets you do it quicker, better, faster, because you're going to yield much better results. And I come across so many people who are, they become disenfranchised or disillusioned because they don't feel they're getting enough out of it quickly enough because they don't know how to give. And that's part of the journey. But I think the huge thing for me is the confidence. Now, a lot of people will go into networking thinking it's all about the sales. I want to see where I'm going to get business. And I'm sort of going, sales will be an end game. But what you will get and how you will enrich and empower yourself on that journey, that is going to revolutionize your thinking, your life, the way you learn about business. And, you know, every time you go to a networking meeting, there's bite-sized learning. You're learning from people with different perspectives, different backgrounds, and they all enrich your business and I think this is phenomenal like it absolutely is a, is a game changer but for me confidence and understanding yourself if you can understand yourself and you project and convey yourself with authenticity to the world you can accomplish anything but if you don't know yourself it's going to be very hard to accomplish something so for me it's the personal development that leads to that self-awareness that leads into your professional development but if you don't start at the beginning and understand what's going up on up here, it's going to be very, very hard and you're never going to 
feel you're achieving enough. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, no, I absolutely love it. Uh, w- what you said about the confidence and the authenticity to that, you know, the personal growth it all brings to you and defining yourself with, you know, with that network is um, something that I experienced myself as well. I think we started networking a little bit around the same time, around the same group. So I'm super, super uh, happy that you were one of the pers- uh, one of the people that I met during those times because you connected me with another person who happened to be one of uh, Diversin's first um, ambassador. From there, I connected uh, to my true passion that I believe that you know this can work so thank you so much again for Jean to to make that happen and uh, as you said it's helped me to define who I am questioning about you know what are my passions what are my my skills I was very uh, surprised actually when I joined to different networking groups I was again on the corner shy not trying to maybe I'm I wanted to be asked, hi, and how are you? You know, I was waiting for that, you know, at the beginning. Um, uh, And also when people come and ask, you know, where are you from and how long have you been living in Ireland? And all these questions, you know, what what is your business? And um, the answer I think of giving, it's shaped so much through the years that I, you know, do networking in a professional level because in that confidence level, I was like, nobody cares about, you know, where I come from. doesn't matter. I didn't even mention about the, the town. They say, you know, is it Istanbul you're coming from? I say, you know what, it's a, it's a small town. You know, you wouldn't even heard about it. So then after I've been asked and people are very interested to hear, then I start telling about, you know what, where I grow. Uh, grow up um, as a child they grow hazelnut field it's such a big thing over there it's on the coast of Black Sea and all these beautiful things that I actually you know the culture that I had with myself um, you know that is super powerful so I'm actually done speaking I should give you more more time to speak on this and so the opportunities you mentioned Jean is a very big thing for everyone you know whatever the work you do once you open the doors for networking to you know have a look at it a little bit you know if it's something for you if you can fit into your personality doesn't matter if you are an introvert extrovert you know there are always ways to make things happen so what kind of opportunities that you have seen uh, opened for people when they started networking I think the, the the first thing is understanding more about themselves. And as I said, understanding their voice and what their values are. Because when somebody asks you, who are you? How do you answer that? And then for me, a lot of people, when they start networking, they are aimless because they don't have a strategy. And, or, you know, there's the, a the phrase, the, the givers, the takers, and the balance sheet makers. So there's a lot of people who go into networking just to take but the essence of networking is learning to give. Um, And I think the growth process, the confidence, all of this, when you get the know, like, and trust factor with people and you get to know them and you start giving and sharing, there's a good karma that comes around and people want to help you. And, but there's also processes and systems behind all of this. But I think it gives a lot of clarity. It can, it can obviously lead to sales and referrals. That's a huge part of it. But it can lead to a new job, you know, depending if somebody's employed or starting a business or what have you. But it can lead to new employment opportunities and lead to new tender opportunities. You know, there's a huge amount of, of tenders available in Ireland, you know, under the 25,000 threshold, and they encourage businesses to come together. But you, unless you were now networking, you mightn't be aware of this or know who to have an alliance with to go forward for a tender. So how do you vet people? How do you get new suppliers? How do you find new people for your team? How do you get invitations into new podcasts? How do you get new ideas for your marketing? for a blog how do you groom some of your staff or other people 
in your organization to grow personally so they can be a better reflection of your company. Well, you can do it all through networking. You want your teams to connect better, to communicate better, teach them to network, teach them how to be interested in other people and to connect authentically because on that journey, they have to look at themselves. And I think that's super powerful for business. And they say in, in business, it's the triple bottom line, it's people, planet, profit. Um, but what do we do about investing in people? You know, a lot of organizations throw training, but they don't actually look at the people themselves and how do we enrich and enable them to learn and connect better. And then that's creativity and it's innovation and it's better teamwork, it's better team morale. And especially in this day where, you know, a lot of people are working remotely, they're not connecting, there's a lot of people starting in companies that haven't met people in real life. I think there's a huge opportunity for organizations to do better by their teams, by having softer conversations just about connecting. And I think that will be rewards and benefits for innovation and better team morale and whatever. And, stymie some of the, the isolation that people that people are feeling. So they're, 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 the benefits are immense. Like, as I said at the start, like for me, it's, it's a game changer, but it all starts with confidence. But how do you build up your confidence? And part of it is your awareness. And that's why I'm so passionate, you know, and you, you, you were asking about a, a good thing and, and one good thing, you know, there's, there's lots of good things, you know, in terms of gratitude. Um, I'm the president of Network Ireland Wicklow this year and I had a coffee morning this morning with some of the ladies and they're new members and they're all coming in. They're not sure what to do and what not to do, but then they come away and they just go, wow, I feel part of a very warm, welcoming community. And I love being able to facilitate that and manage that. Um, but also on a business perspective, you know, I, I did a podcast actually last October, got approached to, to do um, some, some speaking on networking that actually grew into facilitation. I've got my third event with them next week and they've asked me to do another four because their members just love it. And the idea around that was the organization just getting the peers to connect with the peers and having that facilitated because even at the upper echelons of, of C-suite and C-level they still have the same problems as everybody else if they've never been taught how to network and how to connect with people. We all have the same problems, but for me, it's break it down into human being talking to other human being and go forth and conquer. But it's about having that interest and that curiosity about people. And it's fascinating. The stuff you learn is amazing, but the people you come across, like I, I'm constantly fascinated by what people tell me that they do because I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know some of these things could be jobs. And I didn't know people could make a living out of them. And I just think that's mind blowing. Um, and I think it's fascinating and interesting. And I'm always then connecting dots and saying, how can I help these people? And sometimes I don't know how I can help them today, but they're there. And I, I have them now within my network and within my, my framework and on my radar. So I'm always you know, looking out for opportunities to connect them in whatever way I can help whether it's an introduction for a podcast or to write a blog and network or do something that will be, be helpful. I just love it. I just love it. I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate. Well, I'm obviously very passionate about it, but the, I, I want all of the business and entrepreneurial courses. This is one of my vision board things to, so I'm saying it out loud now, but it's on my vision board that all entrepreneurial and business courses will teach networking because I think it is fundamental and you actually don't do anything, anything else, whether you're going for investment, whether you're looking to hire, scale, grow, move from career to entrepreneurship, you don't do anything without networking. So how critical is it, especially when you can outsource everything else, but you can't outsource how to build, leverage, and be strategic about the relationships you build. Absolutely. I, I'm totally, I, I agree with you in this. It's, the fundamental that you will build your business on the on the top of the the good networking skills, and um, you mentioned about the one good uh, news that you got. Did you? Um, uh, is that the uh, the invitation to do it for the for the fourth time for? Um, yeah, yeah, that that was great. I think there's been a few good things, and and again, this comes down to the networking. You never know. The, the, one of the things with networking is never assume who people know because you don't know. So you need to build up a relationship with them that they feel they want to open the world up to you. And 
The podcast led to the opportunity to facilitate. The facilitation led to multiple opportunities of getting business. And that awareness and exposure led me to get other private contracts with people. So because I'm starting my business, this for me was like, wow, I didn't see it coming. I had no visibility on it whatsoever. But again, it just speaks to the networking getting out there. Um, I think the one thing I would leave definitely with people to get them thinking about networking is about who knows you. So track it back. Who knows you? That's a question to ask. Who needs to know you for you to develop your career or in your business? Answer that. Do they know you? Join those two pieces of information together because if the right people don't know you and enough people don't know you, you can't move forward. So how are you going to network yourself to careers and promotion and success? How are you going to network yourself into the next strategic partnership alliance, new piece of business to be a referral partner? Who needs who knows you and do the right people know you? I think that's really, really that's that's a great tip. And by the way, Jean has a very good uh, YouTube channel recently started. Make sure you follow that uh, uh, YouTube channel as well. With uh, it, it has so many great simple tips um, you can get. I you know I have been networking for such a long time. But I got so much out of your uh, small tips as well, Jean. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for you. this. And if you, um, Jean, lastly, um, because there are so many challenges comes with the networking as well, you know. Um, so what would your message be to, um, to overcome the challenges that comes with um networking you know one thing could be your personality that maybe you you are not a uh, you know the place with so many people with so many big groups maybe is not your thing for introverts it's a, it's another um challenge to open up to to be able to explain yourself so there's so many challenges but how we uh, how we can overcome you know um challenges in in networking okay well the first thing is to start because if you don't start you will never get better and networking I said it at start networking is a skill and you will learn and you will get better and there'll be days where you fall the days where you feel crap there'll be days where you tell somebody what you do and they look at you as if you've got 10 heads and they really just don't understand it and then you know what you do you go back and you go I need to do better at doing my elevator pitch or my 60 seconds or how I introduce my business. It's a constant learning curve and you're not going to get it right at the start. You just have to keep plodding along and learning from the experiences. Um, I do all of the video tips that, that you mentioned and I put them up on YouTube. So I have 25 tips that I did in February, which are just small things. And I continue to do them, post different things across social media. Um, and at the moment, I'm doing a weekly tip on reasons to network. And I have different themes that are coming down, down the road as well on that. But in terms of challenges, I think a huge amount of challenges, people don't know enough about themselves. They don't know about their values. They don't understand their own reputation and what matters. And if you don't get that, you're going to introduce people either too quickly or not make the right connections. Um, challenges can be that not understanding how to convey the business or how to talk about it, not having the confidence to present. But if you want to understand your voice, if you want to grow your confidence and get practice in connecting with people, then networking is a great way to overcome some of these challenges. But like if you're if you're an introvert, for example, whether it's online or in a face to face environment, connect in with the chair or the facilitator in advance and just meet them, and say hello, even if it's a call, a Zoom call, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Or if they're local to you, just meet up with them in advance, because at least, you know, somebody and, you know, then you have a buddy and it's easier because it's that sort of psychological moral support that you know is there to support you. And it's much easier to come into a group where you have been in contact with a couple of people, you know what the lay of the land is, you aren't going to get any curveballs, then you can manage your own expectations. And I think it's certainly something that was uh, has come and uh, been become very real for me recently, is they say business is 5% strategy, 95% mindset. 
And wow, that is something that I've really got to understand in the last year, because when you're setting up your business or when you're going for promotion, there are so many voices in our heads. We all have it, an imposter syndrome with your mate. A lot of women suffer from it, but when and women suffer from it, and we put these voices and who we think we are and this we're inability, the self-promotion, all of that side of things. Actually, we just need to understand who we are and put it out there because somebody needs to hear what we have to say. And there's uh, one of the light bulb moments for me, I would do a lot of reading. Um, there's a lady by the name of Marie Forleo and she has a book called Everything is Figureitable. And yeah, one of the- I absolutely love her and her book as well, yeah. Yeah, and it was one of the moments in the book, like, because I was literally going through this last year, going, oh, God, there's loads of people who talk about networking and training and this, that, and the other. And then she had, she just said, you know, there's, there's whatever, 7.8 7. million, billion people in the world. There's room for your voice. And I went, okay, <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I get it now. But there's still a mindset thing. And but com- the networking gives you confidence and support to move along and also when you're starting networking the cardinal mistake is to be in only one network because too little you need to be in at least two or three networks and work out what works for your schedule that's what i can help people do to audit and create a framework for how they're going to network but it's it's about how enriching your network becomes how purposeful how you network with intention it's just such an enriching process and Every single time, no matter what conversation I have, it's all going to come back to confidence. And I would challenge anybody to say that if you're not confident, if you're not confident, you'll always hold yourself back because you listen to the voices. But if you grow your confidence, you can achieve anything. So now what do you want to achieve? And tell me that's not worth learning. Tell me that networking isn't worth learning to understand more about you and grow and be able to speak and articulate a message and connect with people who can help you get where you want to get to. What do you aspire to? Who can connect? Who can you connect to? How can you get connected to them? How can they help you achieve your dreams? And I just think game changing, game changing. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, thank you so much for these great tips and um, your showing your genuine um uh, you know, heart, you, you put your heart into this gene and I know you are a naturally giving person like myself and uh, I could easily see it in within the big networking meetings with you and uh, I think that's one of the, the piece that makes you a great networking a networker because you know how to connect in the human level and uh, you absolutely know what to give, how to give to people. So thank you so much for coming here today and making this show with us and sharing your wonderful tips uh, about networking. Thank you. Thank you.